Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you from deadpit.com. We do have a movie to review today that is out of this world. Uh -huh. Event Horizon from 1997. Anyone that's followed our show for any lengthy period of time knows that the Creepy Kentuckian and Uncle Bill's opinion differ vastly on this movie. This particular one right here is one of Uncle Bill's absolute favorites. And for me, eh. But it'd been a few years since I'd seen it. This is definitely the edition you want to watch if you're going to watch this movie. This is the new 4K 25th anniversary edition from Paramount. And hey, Paramount sent me a copy of this to review. There's no time more perfect than the present. Event Horizon, 1997 sci-fi horror film director Paul W.S. Anderson, long before he had the reins of the Resident Evil movies, made Event Horizon. The movie itself is set in the distant future, and seven years earlier, there was a ship known as the Event Horizon out in the galaxy somewhere that completely disappeared, that went into almost like a black hole, if you will. There is a rescue ship, the Lewis and Clark, which is led by Miller, played by Lawrence Fishburne. They are sent to investigate the ship after it resurfaces seven years later. Unbeknownst to them, the event horizon is not empty. There is something on the ship, and we'll just leave it at that. This movie visually is badass. It was a great candidate for 4K UHD release. It looks great. There's some really beautiful shots, and it really does. It takes good advantage of the 4K capabilities here. And this movie is also from Paramount. If you didn't notice, this is a steelbook edition with the fancy schmancy slipcover. Slip cover. But we will talk about that here in just a little bit. One of the big downfalls of this, because I'm not a huge fan, is Sam Neill is in this. He is like kind of the evil scientist character in the movie who turns into Cenobite towards the end of the film. And it's Sam Neill, man. I mean, I, I just can't get past that. I know some people really love Sam Neill, but I'm not one of those people. Um, overall, though, the cast in this is really good. Lawrence Fishburne's great in everything that he's ever been in. I'm always happy to see Kathleen Quinlan. Jolie Richardson is all, also a nice bit of eye candy from 1997. Um, but overall, I would say that my opinion on Event Horizon is, is still the same. It's a slow build. It's not awfully exciting. Um, if you're a fan of sci-fi horror, odds are you're going to love this. But I am not a huge fan of sci-fi horror. Never have been. Now, I would have liked this a little bit more had Sam Neill not been casting it. But he kind of put me over the edge with it. So, I'm not a huge fan of this movie. But for those that are, this is the ultimate edition to own. I do know that Shout Factory released the Blu-ray collector's edition of this last just last year actually which does have a lot more extra features and stuff like that on there but the transfer man is what to me i mean if you're a fan of the movie you want an excellent transfer and this is the 4k treatment the artwork and the case and stuff like that i think beat screen factory's edition quite handedly um and we're going to get into that too. And there are some special features that are on this, that are on that edition as well. So you take the card, this card just kind of falls right off. And this is a, almost like a Mylar slip cover that goes over it. Protects your, protects that steel book, baby. And uh, so yeah, it's got artwork that is only on that Mylar sleeve. And even in the back there as well. So that's very cool. Looks great. You take that off. And you do have the uh, digital copy, which I may post that on deadpitonpatreon.com. Who's to say? 
And then the inside artwork, which includes the Blu-ray and the 4K. Let's take that out so I can showcase the, the inside artwork for you guys. So that's a cool shot there as well. Beautiful addition here from Paramount Home Entertainment. That's a two disc edition. It includes the 4K UHD of the feature film. And on disc two, the Blu-ray with the special features, which is a commentary by director Paul W.S. Anderson and producer Jeremy Bolt. It's the making of Event Horizon split up into five separate documentaries. The Point of No Return, the filming of Event Horizon with director commentary. Secrets with selectable director commentary. The Unseen Event Horizon. The Unfilmed Rescue Scene, conceptual art, and a trailers. So this is a stacked edition, guys. And I want to say this right now. If you are a fan of this movie, this is the version that you want to own. Paramount recently came out with this on a 4K Steelbook. So check it out and be sure to check us out over at deadbit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Before this video officially ends, oh, Curly Jaws has a message for you. Go on over to shop.deadpit.com and go look at their team public store right now. You've got some new shirts like the Oak Curly Jaws official t shirt, which is brutal and badass. You got the Gummy Gummy shirt with the captain himself on the shirt. The people, you got Uncle Bill's face on a fucking shirt. You got the Final Girl shirt. You got all these shirts over at Chop. Dot deadpit.com get them before they're all out especially the new one bedtime 1039 it doesn't get better than that so go on out check out these shirts at shop.deadpit.com go look at their team public store you're gonna have a good old time get them all thank you to all of our supporters on patreon dead pit on patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tiers start at only $1.